Sound is a traveling wave, which is an oscillation of pressure, transmitted with a solar gas, as opposed to frequencies within the range of hearing. Sound, simply defined as the mechanical vibration that can be interpreted as sound, are able to travel through all forms of matter. Sound cannot travel through a vacuum. You know, vacuum is the absence of matter. It's the absence of everything. So that's the absence of matter. But so it can. So it can travel through all matter. It's, const it's constant. It sounds constant. Sound can penetrate all matter, including gas and matter form. And it can Does also that mean sound cannot seats. travel through space time, warped time? Pretty much. Time. Or, or non matter, even. Well, yeah, all sound. Sound. sound would be just vibration, wouldn't it? Yeah, constant. Sound vibration. is just vibration. We can pick up certain sounds, but I'm sure you can pick up much more with different tools, different instruments. We've got more sound, sound than we can hear. So frequency. when does the sound end? Just because we hear it stopping? Is that what this question means? We assume <laughs> that it stops. We assume mm. that there's silence. Well, what is silence then? Silence is the Maybe loudest sound, do, honestly. Is the definition of silence? It's too. quite common in your local desert. <laughs> It would be, it would be no, pretty it's much not. It's it totally is. not. You can hear wind in the desert. I have heard silence mm. once in my lifetime, and it hurts. It hurts. I honestly thought my eardrums were about to bust. Yeah, it's like pressure. Ears. It's pressure. You can't actually... Like, we're not equipped for yeah, we're it. not... Our makeup, our body makeup, and your eardrums and stuff, you're not equipped for silence. It would probably be in the definition of a dictionary of, like, silence. would be, like, the absence of sound. As yeah, the absence of sound. Level was interpreted by the subject, so, but it's still just what you can perceive. So I would argue that there's no such thing as two sounds, two parts of the same sound, same vibration that goes through different states of change, but it doesn't cease. It's infinite. It's infinite. But there's a difference between a silence and stillness. And stillness well. is more of an awareness. Silence is a gap in the... Silence is really just a state of mind. Yeah, silence is just, I like that one. Silence is, silence is the loudest sound you'll ever hear. And it's very, very rare that you ever actually experience utter and complete silence. There's always an overlapping of sound. Maybe when you die, but even that. Suburban noise, well, I mean, like, look about it when you try to meditate there for half an hour, just trying to shut the noise off in your own head. Okay, so then what would be the thing between <laughs> two sounds? That's a thing. It's a paradox. <laughs> thing. It's one bloody paradox. And I like to hear someone argue differently. Silence is a state of mind. Do you reckon it would be like shutting off? Silence is a gap in conversation. Not Silence is when the music cuts out. No, I would relate silence as a 
whore silences before you take be that inward breath. Uh, gap in his away from have to be as interpreted by the observer. That, Completely that, that, subjective. Again, it's it's it is dependent on who's listening to the sound that determines the sound, its context, its framework, its meaning. We can film it, we can record it, we can dissect it, cut it up, and use each part, put it together, and make of our own fashioning with it. We can take snapshots of time and sound. Do space is silent? Space. Space. Yeah. Sound can travel through metal, but it cannot travel through, through a vacuum. <laughs> that would mean then. That would mean then that there is no sound in the universe, but creation sound. So think between know. two sounds, and we'd literally have to leave the Earth and go into the mighty cosmos. <laughs> so we should just show you some images of space. The thing between two sounds, Jupiter. <laughs> space. space. It's not even. We should show a picture of Einstein. 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 <laughs> It's pretty amazing. <laughs> it is pretty amazing. So that means yeah. mass energy, like mass, mass volume, mass weight, energy, the, magnetism, it's, it's the moments can warp and distort sound. In terms of when they're talking yeah. about space time as vacuum and gravitational pull of the sun, like that's the only way we could prove space time was to capture stars being warped around the sun because of the massive magnetic field and pull that the sun actually has. <coughs> so mass energy would eliminate sound, there would be no such thing as that. Uh, because so, in a vacuum there's no interaction. Oh, well, there might be an interaction, but as far as we can see, there's no formulation of matter or anything. No causal change that occur yeah. within um, black holes, within vacuums. Yeah, that's another thing. That Well, so um, how a black hole is actually formed is that the star <laughs> begins to create it's way too much energy and way too much pull. It explodes. It implodes upon energy. Itself. There's no way to push it out because the empty space and antimatter is pushing against it, so it implodes upon itself. Have you seen this? There's this picture the science magazine. It was a black hole right next to another black hole. The most beautiful picture I've ever seen. That would be the sound right between two sounds. Next to each other. <laughs> I was like, yeah, the thing between two sounds. Black hole. <laughs> so, what have we learned from this whole so conversation? Let's recap. Let's recap. Into galactic space. Okay, so. To capture the definition, true definition space. of science. You so, maybe the sound, what is that? The in between sounds. In between two sounds. Space. It's space. That's the answer right there.